Welcome to my channel. So today I'll be showing you how I make this beaded chandelier out of Mardi Gras beads. So if you like to see how I did that, just stay tuned. To make this, you will need metal ringlets. These are for jewelry making, but they work just fine. Next, you will need this double tier lampshade frame and it is specific, you need this one. You will also need two different size beads. So I have medium and small beads. And lastly, a paint color of your choice. So first, we're gonna cut out this middle piece on the lampshade frame. We will not be needing that part. Okay, so we're gonna take our Mardi Gras bead, take one of the metal little ringlets, open it up, and then loop it around the Mardi Gras bead, and then loop that around the metal frame. So depending on how far you want your bead to hang out, you're then gonna cut off the excess amount. Mines were 17 beads on each string. So technically it was 34 beads in total from one bead. I am now taking each loose end of the bead and attaching it to the tear in the middle. Hopefully you can see it a little better from this angle. So I placed the metal ringlet above my last bead and then loop that around that tear and tighten the metal ring. I just continue doing this until the frame is full. I will now put in a temporary twine hanger. It will make it 10 times easier for the next part. And I have three strings, so I'm just going to evenly place them around the top. Once you have all three of them in place, you take all of them and then tie a knot at the top. This allows us to hang the chandelier so that it is elevated for the next part. For this next part, we're gonna be taking the smaller beads and putting them on the bottom tier. So to do that, you're going to open your metal ring, place it around the small bead, and then place it over that bottom tier and clamp it into place. And just continue doing that until your bottom tier is full. So this part depends on your preference. I wanted mine to be long so I didn't cut them like short I really just cut them open so that they can hang and evened out the gold ones because they were kind of long but you can cut it as short or as long as you want depending on the look you're going for so depending on your preference you may not want to spray paint it like if it's in a color scheme that you want then of course don't paint it but mine's was not so I opted to paint it to hang the chandelier, I will be using metal hooks. Now, I did attempt to spray paint these hooks, the bottom white and then the top, the green, so that it can kind of like disappear when I put it on the ceiling. Cause I really wanted clear hooks, but I couldn't find that nowhere. So I just attempted something and I feel like it worked, but you be the judge of that. Now to hang it, I did make a template. I did a triangle and then I hung it on my ceiling where I wanted it and just put the hooks where the points of the triangle were. If you did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a like, leave me a comment and consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.